Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SRC Arena here at Onondaga Community College for this Section 3 Class A Boys Basketball Semi-Final Matchup. And Philip Koski really doing his best to dictate the pace of this game as he fades away for the jumper. And was it any surprise that he makes it? And Garang weaves through two and still puts up the bucket. Now Philip Koski for three. And from the wild blue yonder, Philip Koski no less accurate. Now Philip Koski with a give and go. And go he does, all the way to the basket for three. Philip Koski, even on the run, drifting to the left, still finds the basket. 15 points in the first quarter. He's on pace to put up 60. It's the sectional semifinals. This is supposed to be some of the toughest competition of the season. Frankly, there's only two things which could slow down Zach Filipkowski right now. One, himself. Two, the United States Armed Forces. As Filipkowski has time from three, what are you going to do? What can you possibly do as Zach Filipkowski is up to 20 points? He's shooting from NBA range. That's an NBA three-pointer. He's behind the college line. Call him Steph Curry Koski and Vinny Falgiatano with a three in response. So how do you stop that? Running out of answers at this point. We're only into the second quarter. At this point, we're going to have to reframe it as a rhetorical question because no one's going to have the answer to this. That's right. It's philosophical. Get Rene Descartes in here. Once you explain to him what basketball is, he'll tell you that even if reality is not an illusion, you might be fooled by Zach Filipkowski's play. I think, therefore, I am said Descartes, and Philip Koski plays, therefore he scores. It's poetry, wow. You wrote that yourself? The second half. And how about two three-pointers for Vinny Fontatano, the six-foot-four center, and a three-pointer for Garrett Johnson. And these two teams are slinging it long distance. So they're going to need a lot more of that. And a turnover for the Cobras. Garang blocked by Johnson, but he still gets it up. Through traffic, Andrew Doerr! He was horizontal! And the and one as well? Call him Andrew Durable. Passed into Coral. Philip Koski underneath the basket blocks that shot. Coral's second attempt is no good. Third time, fading away from the basket is the charm! Philip Koski driving in, hands in his face, and of course he's going to do it. Why wouldn't he? A shot selection soothsayer. A net Nostradamus. He's a psychic out there. He's bending spoons. As Philip Koski on the run rattles in. 26 for him. And I'm officially out of room on my spotting board. So now Garang will go to the line. Dang Garang, that was that one Skrillex song, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. That's, that's good. But they're doing the right thing right now. Keep it seating on Philip Koski. You could see there, not going anywhere. And Philip Koski knocked down to the ground, yet New Hartford still maintains possession. And that's that presence of mind from Philip Koski. And how about a little bit more from Will Trela? Bishop Grimes coming back from this is a bit like trying to jump the Grand Canyon on a scooter. You'd need a lot of rockets. But a layup on the run from Andrew Durr, tying his career high of 11 points. And what a day to do it. You've got a marathon coming up. And I think nine games, that's what, 32 hours? Commentator awareness. For just a dollar a day, <laughs> you can help this poor, <laughs> overworked broadcaster. New Hartford not rest in the starters. And Philip Koski can still put him up. 30 points. 3-0. Zoe Mama. The second string is on for Bishop Grimes. Shakes his man. Does Liam Garland and put up a three. A minute left in this game. And there's Frank Sagroy. New Hartford's going to wait this one out. And that's all she wrote. And the New Hartford Spartans winning by 23 against the five-seed Bishop Grimes Cobras, whose season has come to a close. My name's Sam Gelfand. On behalf of Nick DeCaney and the Syracuse-based broadcast crew, have a very good night wherever you may be.